Uh, so guess what happened? I forgot the plan! So I had to load my game, and the last game I had was way back in Sabin's scenario. But I made sure to get all the bestiaries this time. And Magroder is also missable. I mean, I knew he was missable, but I missed him uh, every time. So now I have all the bestiaries, and I have outdoor construction. Uh, and I got my Tempest, Kazakiri. Oh, I better check my inventory just to make sure, because I don't want to feel dumb and have it not actually be there. Um, should be near the bottom. Um, there you are. Yes. Okay. So we're good to go. So I renamed a few characters, because stupid. Yep, there you go. <laughs> we can talk about that later, though. I have to beat up a crane. You're not getting away from me! We've better not overstay our welcome. Oh no, here comes a crane. Something that can't move. But I suppose we were in a stationary hovering position, so they got us before takeoff. I would suppose. Um. Um. Yeah. Okay. Booga booga. Uh, wrong one. Ouch, that's a lot of fire. Ooh, I like that it moves faster. Ah, uh, that one's a... Uh, a bonus for the new version. Miggy, 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 miggy. Alright. Miggy, 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 miggy. Lagomorph is the best. I would have liked to have gotten an early debilitator. I forgot he can do that. Because I could have just up and used float. Now is the best part of the... Ah, I won't bother. This is the best part. You get to explore things. And much in linear tradition, there's only one unexplored place on the planet. Oh no, it's this scene. I hope this is skippable, because this takes forever. Boop, boop, boop. This is what it sounds like. When I was born directly in of contact with... The like. la de da de da da Oh well. Hey guys! My dad's a rock. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay. It's the Maduin scene that just takes way too long. It's important. Like, this is important. Do I get a unit frame? Ah, uh, no. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm going to take a look outside. I'm going to take a look inside. Um, I'm just going to leave the help frame up. I want to see if it does something weird. Bye, buddy. Hey, Errol. What do you think about a man with five horns? Wink. Talk to the person sleeping in the bed. No. As uh, Madonna, which just means girl, uh, copyrighted. Well, of course, Madeline's a pretty name, so it's not no harm, no foul. Here, that guy's face is upside down. Yay, I get to do something other than walk. Mm, I remember these being slightly more transparent. The light shafts, I mean. How can we be sure unless we spontaneously have sex right here, even though you were on the way out? This is the longest ug in the game and is already heavily abridged. I'm uncertain if I like the old or the new Imperial Overworld sprites. They're comparable. In the old one, it was the, uh, it just looks like, oh geez, this unit frame is disgusting. Needs, <laughs> it's like he's been rolled over with a super eagle filter. Anyway, the helmets in the old were, uh, uh, the emperor symbol, the little circly thing with the doodad on it. And now they're just visors. The visors are more visible, but it's less, uh, Revealing. However, since soldiers are used elsewhere in the game, there's no need for them to have the Emperor logo, so I guess it's a fair change. Alrighty. The other world has nothing for me, so I will immediately go there with my kid. ultimate treasure if he wasn't looking for oh yeah that's right he's looking for the for the statues or whatever but aren't they on the outside no wait yes they are on the inside Duh. because they're on the floating continent for some silly ridiculous reason that i have no idea what i was thinking i thought for some reason the statues were on the magic isle or the magic cave on Thamasa. It, it's clearly not. Aha! Violence against women is not funny. But 
then again, the Emperor's kind of a uh, omnidirectional killer, so eh, I guess it's fair. There, now I get Tara back in my party. And an achievement! That's the first achievement I've gotten since uh, the uh, uh, turn the game on achievement. Uh, you might think it's dumb to have a just turn the game on achievement or start new game achievement, but it actually is like achievements aren't about achievements for developers anymore. They're not a fun reward. They're about uh, seeing uh, what players will put up with. For example, I was playing a, uh, a weird visual novel, uh, and one of the achievements is just for start turning the game on, and uh, um, that achievement is called something like, at least you're not idling for cards. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's not X, it's n not Y. It's not L. Ah, it's R. There we go, it's R. Alright, I'm just gonna do a little bit of... Well, I guess I have to do this scene first, but I'm gonna do a little bit of side content. I got some bestiary entries to fill out, and, uh, um, a Moogle to rescue, some dances to learn. I could, yeah, that's gonna, that sounds like a good thing for the, thing for today. Oh, actually, I think I'll just call it now. I guess I'll be saved on the outside.